Hello, my name is Obeyed Alorni. Prickly pears. Apuntia. Apuntia, also known as nopals or paddle cactus, named Albertum in the Arabian Peninsula, is a genus in the cactus family, Cactaceae currently. Only prickly pears are included in this genus of about 200 species distributed throughout most of the Americas cause are now separated into the genus Cylindra puncha, which some still consider a subgenus of Opuntia ostrocylindra puncha, Coronopuncha and Micropuncha are also often included in the present genus, but like Cylindra puncha they seem rather well distinct Brasilia puncha and Miclia puncha are closer relatives of Opuntia. The most commonly culinary species is the Indian fig opuntia. Most culinary uses of the term prickly pear refer to this species. Prickly pears are also known as tuna, nopal or nopals, from the Nahuatl word nopi for the pads, or nussel, from the Nahuatl word noctli for the fruit, or paddle cactus. This and similar species are native to Mexico. The genus is named for the ancient Greek city of Opus. Description. Prickly pears typically grow with flat, rounded cladodes, also called platyclades, that are armed with two kinds of spines, large, smooth, fixed spines and small, hair-like prickles called glochids, that easily penetrate skin and detach from the plant. Many types of prickly pears grow into dense, tangled structures, like all true cactus species. Prickly pears are native only to the Western Hemisphere, however, they have been introduced to other parts of the globe. Prickly pear species are found in abundance in Mexico, especially in the central and western regions, comma grown in the Middle East, Morocco, South Arabian Peninsula. They are also found in the western United States, in arid regions in the northwest, throughout the mid and lower elevations of the Rocky Mountains such as in Colorado where species such as Opuntia far ecantha, Opuntia polyacantha and others become dominant, and especially in the deserts. Athwest prickly pears are also the only types of cactus found to grow natively far east of the Great Plains states. Ohumifusa is widespread throughout southern New England and Long Island, where it can be found in Northport, as well as throughout the northern Great Lakes states and southern Ontario. Canada Humifusa is also a prominent feature of the flora at Illinois Beach State Park, in Winthrop Harbor, Illinois, north of Chicago, and of Indiana Dunes State Parks, southeast of Chicago, in the Galapagos Islands. There are six different species, O Ichios, O Galapagia, O Helleri, O Insularis, O Zaxicola, O Megasperma. These species are divided into 14 different varieties. Most of these are confined to one or a few islands for this reason. They have been described as an excellent example of adaptive radiation on the whole. On islands where there are tall, trunked varieties there are also giant tortoises, and islands lacking tortoises have low or prostrate forms of opuntia. The first introduction of prickly pear into Australia can be definitely ascribed to Governor Philip and the earliest colonists in the year 1788 brought from Brazil to Sydney. They remained in Sydney for 50 years, until they were brought to New South Wales to a farmer's garden in 1839. The farmer's wife gave cuttings to neighbours and friends who planted it not only in their gardens but also as hedgerows so began the Australian invasion that caused major ecological damage in the eastern states they are also found in the Mediterranean region of northern Africa, especially in the most northern nation of Africa, Tunisia, in the Middle East, Morocco, South Arabian Peninsula, where they grow all over the countryside, and southern Europe, especially on the island nation of Malta, where they grow all over the islands and can be found in enormous numbers in parts of South Africa, where it was introduced from South America. Opuntia species are the most cold tolerant of the lowland cacti, extending into western and southern Canada. One subspecies, Opuntia fragilis var fragilis, has been found growing along the Beaten River in central British Columbia, 
southwest of Cecil Lake of 56 degrees 17 N latitude 120 degrees 39 W longitude prickly pears also produce a fruit that is commonly eaten in Mexico, known as tuna, it also is used to make aguas frescas the fruit can be red, wine red, green or yellow orange Charles Darwin was the first to note that these cacti have thigmatactic anthers, when the anthers are touched, they curl over, depositing their pollen this movement can be seen by gently poking the anthers of an open or puncture flower the same trait has evolved convergently in other cacti, Eglothophora, cos, now recognized to belong into the rather distinct genus Cylindropuncture, are distinguished by having cylindrical, rather than flattened, stem segments with the large barbed spines the stem joints of several species, notably the jumping cur, Cylindropuncture fulgida, are very brittle on young stems, readily breaking off when the barbed spines stick to clothing or animal bark as a method of vegetative reproduction the barbed spines can remain embedded in the skin, causing significant discomfort and sometimes injury, uses prickly pear fruit for sale at a market, Zasatkas, Mexico edit, as food captive prickly pear grown for food the white specks are clumps of cochineal the fruit of prickly pears commonly called cactus fruit, cactus fig, Indian fig or tuna in Spanish, is edible, although it has to be peeled carefully to remove the small spines on the outer skin before consumption if the outer layer is not properly removed, glockids can be ingested, causing discomfort of the throat, lips, and tongue, as the small spines are easily lodged in the skin Native Americans, like the tequister, would roll the fruit around in a suitable medium, egg grit, to sand off the glockids alternatively, rotating the fruit in the flame of a campfire or torch has been used to remove the glockids today, Parthnocarpic, seedless, cultivars are also available, cactus figs are often used to make candies, jelly, or drinks such as vodka or lemonade Puncher ficus indica has been introduced to Europe, and flourishes in areas with a suitable climate, such as the south of France, southern Italy, Sicily, where they are referred to as Ficid India or Ficurnia, Indian figs, along the Struma River in Bulgaria, in southern Portugal and Madeira, where they are called Tobibo, Figo Tano or Indian figs, and eastern and southern Spain, as well as Gibraltar where they are known as Chumbo or Higo Chumbo, Chumbo fig, in Greece, it grows in such places as Corfu and its figs are known as Frangasica, French figs or Pavlosica, Paul's figs, the figs are also grown in Cyprus, where they are known as Papoutsasica or Babutsa, cactus figs, the prickly pear also grows widely on the islands of Malta, where it is enjoyed by the Maltese as a typical summer fruit, known as Bajita tax zuc, literally spiny figs, as well as being used to make the popular liqueur known as Bajtra. In Egypt, it is known as Tinchuki. The prickly pear is so commonly found in the Maltese islands that it is often used as a dividing wall between many of Malta's characteristic terraced fields in place of the usual rubble walls. The prickly pear was introduced to Eritrea during the period of Italian colonization between 1890 and 1940. It is locally known as Biz and is abundant during the months of late summer and early autumn, late July through September. The biz from the holy monastery of Bizan is said to be particularly sweet and juicy in Libya, it is a popular summer fruit and called by the locals Hindi, which literally means Indian in Egypt, Libya, Saudi Arabia, Jordan and other parts of the Middle East, prickly pears of the yellow and orange varieties are grown by the side of farms, beside railway tracks and other otherwise non-cultivable land it is sold in summer by street vendors, and is considered a nice refreshing fruit for that season, Tunny is the local St. Helenian name for cactus pears the plants, Indian fig or puncher, were originally brought to the island by the colonial ivory traders from East Africa in the 1850s Tunny cactus now grows wild and organically in the dry coastal regions of the island three principal cultivars of Tunny grow on the island, the English with yellow fruit, the Madeira with large red fruit, and the small, firm spiny red young stem segments, usually called nopals, 
are also edible in most species of opancha. They are commonly used in Mexican cuisine in dishes such as huevos con nopales, eggs with nopal, or tacos de nopales. Nopales are also an important ingredient in New Mexican cuisine.